I am Anil Kumar and I have taken up an example where directly the combination formula can be applied. As you remember, combination of n distinct objects taken r at a time is ncr which is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. It could also be written as npr divided by r factorial. Now whenever you are taking combinations, order is not important, right? That is the case. Example here is, how many sets of five questions can be chosen from a list of 24 questions, right? So, so if you select these five questions, for example, then the order is not important. You can have question number one here or at any other place, right? So let's say you select question number one, two, 10, question 11, and question 24. Let that be one of the selections. Then the order that is selecting 2 first or 10 first or 11 first amongst this group is not important, right? So they are same selection. And therefore, permutation will be where the order is important. And since 5 is the number of questions selected, we divide by 5 factorial. And that is how we relate permutation with combination. So I hope that part is clear to you. So we could find the answer of this question by saying that we are selecting 5 out of a set of 24 questions. So it should be 24 P5 divided by 5 factorial since the combination of these 5 is exactly same. So so in general, when we are talking about selecting permutation, the order is important, so they become different. So we have to divide by 5 factorial. So that is one solution. The second is using this formula itself. So we have to select from 24 questions 5, where the order is important, and therefore we could write this as 24C5. And that means 24 factorial divided by 24 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. So that is 24 factorial divided by 24 minus 5 is 19 factorial times 5 factorial. Right? So you can use calculator, find the answer, or you could use the function key for combination, which we are going to use now. So 24C, R is 5 equals to 42504. So we get 42504 as our answer. Now let us check this answer from permutation point of view also. So we have 24 permutation 5 which is a big number. We'll divide this number by 5 factorial, right? So we'll divide this by 5 factorial which is equals to exactly same number which is 42504 right so that kind of confirms our concept about relation between permutations and combinations right so it is important to remember that in permutations order is important and in combination that order is not important and therefore we divide by those number of permutations right so five factorial for five places that is how we should understand this topic. Let's move on and take a few more questions on combinations to consolidate on our understanding of the chapter. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.